he's the real life avenger we're used to people wearing capes and coming on our screens the man that i'm talking about wears vardi and is the real life singam that we all watch uh this person is actually most well known for his in 2611 but apart from that he's contributed altruistically to both the nation because of his service and also because of the inspiration that he is it's very rare to say that a, a police wala or a policeman is a social media sensation but if you see his instagram account you'll be able to tell that most of it most of the influencers are put to shame and it's very nice to be able to present to you somebody who's making a difference on ground and is equally famous online ladies and gentlemen boys and girls presenting to you the first speaker for the day the current additional director general of police in the anti corruption bureau and the strongest cheerleader for the youth vishwas nangre patel firstly thank you for doing this really really grateful how does it feel to be back to school <laughs> yeah i can see young ignited minds in front of me this is very positive and constructive forum so back to school is like youthfulness energy enthusiasm cheers halat ke kadmo par sikandar nahi girta toota koi tara to zameen par nahi girta girte hai shauk se darya samandar mein lekin kisi darya mein samandar nahi girta these are sikandars these are stars these are oceans of energy and youthfulness so happy to be here thank you for this great opportunity prashant no oh, and uh, thank you sir and if in every answer you're going to to insert some shayari or you could of course i'm student of literature <laughs> that i should have been better prepared with the questions <laughs> but but all i will say is that i'm very very grateful no, my first question to you is this that not all of us can join the armed forces or the police sir where did your interest being in the police come from and why would you encourage young people to join the police or the armed forces what can they do for for nation building again i'll start with one poem written by my colleague मैं खाकी हूँ दिन हूँ रात हूँ सांझ वाली बाती हूँ मैं खाकी हूँ आंधी में तूफान में होली में रमजान में देश के सम्मान में अड़ीग कर्तव्यों की अविचल परिपाटी हूँ मैं खाकी हूँ तैयार हूँ हमेशा ही तेज धूप और बारिश को हंसकर सहने को सारे त्यौहार भीड़ के साथ मनाने को कभी पत्थर और कभी गोली भी खाने को मैं बनी दूजी माठी हूँ मैं खाकी हूँ विघ्न विकट सह कर भी सुशोभित सज्जित भाती हूँ मुस्काती हूँ इटलाती हूँ वर्दी में गौरव पाती हूँ मैं खाकी हूँ तम में प्रकाश हूँ कठिन वक्त में आस हूँ हर वक्त तुम्हारे पास हूँ बुलाओ तो दौड़ी आती हूँ मैं खाकी हूँ लास्ट लाइन सर वेरी मीनिंगफुल भूख और थकान की बात ही क्या भूख और थकान की बात ही क्या कभी आहट हूँ कभी चोटी हूँ और कभी तिरंगे में लिपटी रोती सिसकती छाती हूँ मैं खाकी हूँ so donning khaki donning uniform was my passion since my childhood of course i belong to rural area of western maharashtra where you will find uh, every household with a uniform personnel but mostly at the level of police constable or jawans my real maternal uncle my mama joined as uh, police constable and retired as havaldar my brother in law joined as police sub inspector and retired as assistant commissioner of police my brother cousin brother first cousin joined as lieutenant and uh, presently working as brigadier with indian army so of course uh, this passion or interest was in born what we all can contribute 
uh, in my UPSC interview, Lieutenant General Surendranath, the then chairman of UPSC, asked me a very, very weird question. In Hindi, because my medium was Marathi, I was not fluent in uh, English, still I'm not uh, good. But um, there was an interpreter also to translate what uh, the question was and what, what I was speaking in Marathi. So he asked in Hindi, Vishwas is dunya mein kyun hai? That was a weird question because I didn't come on my own, my parents brought me here. But I understood the purpose of this question. I took a pause and with the permission of the panel, I reiterated one beautiful poem of Lama Ancha, soldiers. To dream the impossible dream, to fight the unbeatable foe, to run where the brave dare not to go, to love the pure and chaste afar, to right the unforgivable wrong, to try when your arms are too weary to reach that unreachable star. This is my quest to follow that star no matter how hopeless, no matter how far. To fight for the right without questions, without pause, to be willing to march into the hell for heavenly cause. So cause in life is very important. Today, uh, there are so many isms which are uh, hampering our social fabric. Casteism, communalism, regionalism, sectarianism, parochialism, linguism, fundamentalism, extremism, both sides, left and right, terrorism. So, please, Keep safe distance from all these isms which are vitiating the minds. Focus on your own work, on your studies these days. Take every adversity as an opportunity. Believe in yourself. Hard work, hard work and hard work is the only mantra. We have to build this great country into a mighty nation. Mighty in thought, mighty in culture, mighty in its peaceful service to humanity. You must have bread, kriya and karma. These are two actions in Bhagavad Gita. Kriya is what we do for uh, our day-to-day -day living. We eat, we sleep. We help our kids to get educated. All selfish motives and mind it, every animal also does the Kriya. Karma is the action without expecting any remuneration. So there should be good blend of Kriya and Karma in life. Pasaidan, Naneshwari. Have you heard about this? Naneshwari is a beautiful Nirupan interpretation of Bhagavad Gita written by Naneshwar Maharaj. And Pasaidan is asking for the Almighty for the Prasad. Duritanche timirzao vishpasvadarma surye paho zoje vanchila tote laho prani zata. Khadanchi venkati sando taya satkarmi rati vado bhuta paraspare pado maitri jivanche. Universal Brotherhood. Let the wickedness of evil minded shade. Let the darkness of the ignorant disappear. Let the world see the sun of self consciousness. And let everyone be contented with the, everything of the three worlds. So, this prayer should be the foundation. And of course, we, the people of India, having solemnly resolved to constitute ourselves into sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic and to achieve to all its citizens social, economic and political justice, freedom of speech, belief, faith, faith worship, exp expression, equality of status and opportunity, fraternity, 
and self-worth. These are the principles or the ethos of our constitution which is written in the preamble. So keep this as ideals and there are fundamental rights as well as fundamental duties. 51A of the constitution elaborates all these duties. Please follow these duties because this is your formative age. And whatever you understand, whatever you study will be their lifetime. So these are certain, because my kids are in the same age group, so I tell them the same things. As um, a police officer or your uncle, you can understand and follow this. Thank you. Thank you for, uh, for the answer. You gave excerpts from poetry. You uh, spoke about Kartavya. You spoke about the Bhagavad Gita. You also spoke about how young people should contribute to nation building. You have uh, summarized yesterday's conversations with six people in one answer. <laughs> but I must ask you this, and I use this very rarely, is there are few people who do more for others and less for themselves. I see you and as an exemplar of that. In Sanskrit, there's a shloka which goes by Swasmai Swarupam Samajya Sarvasvam, doing less for oneself and doing more for others. There are, or in a world where everybody's trying to aggregate things for oneself, to be able to selflessly serve is something that you touched upon, saying that as young people, this is something that one must imbibe. This is slightly outside the syllabus, but considering you've cracked everything, I don't think this will be uh, any challenge. Why is it so important for young people at a young age to understand the concept of selflessly serving other people? And this somehow, sir, I've observed, disappears as you grow up. When you're young, at least that empathy, altruism is there. When you go to Kali then there are so many other factors that come through and that keeps decreasing at an increasing rate. So how can one learn when one is in school and how does one continue that as one grows? Schooling, uh, education, learning are important phases of teenage. Uh, I would seek the help of uh, philosophy of Mahatma Gandhi for this. Very good question, selfless service and how these principles can be imbibed in the constructive phase of life. That is students age, Shaisha Vibhena Vidyanam Yavane Visheshina Munivutti Vardakyam Yogatante Tenutajam Shaisha Vibhena Vidyakeliye Badhai Keliye Abhyas Keliye or kuch sikhne ke liye selfless service. Again, Bapuji. Again, Bapuji, you have to understand from the movies like Munna Bhai Lagero. So to impress upon that beautiful Jackie, uh, Jockey, um, Munna Bhai has to understand something about Bapuji's life. So he asks Circuit, Are you Bapu kaun hai? Circuit replies, Oh, you pass ki note pe rehta hai, oh, Bapu hai bole. वो क्या आर्मी में था पुलिस में था नहीं नहीं उसकी बॉडी बड़ी कुछ खास नहीं दिखती थी लेकिन उसने अंग्रेजों की वाट लगा दी साबरमती के संत तूने कर दिया कमाल दे दी हमें आजादी बिना खड़क बिना ठाल he uh, has explained in a beautiful way there is enough in this world to fulfill every single individual's need but there cannot be anything which will fulfill every single individual's greed so greed is the sole cause and uh, again in young India, in 1930s has explained seven social scenes of our age. Which are these social, seven social scenes? Politics without principles, science without humanity, commerce without morality, religion or worship without, without sacrifice, wealth without work, education or knowledge without character and last very important pleasure without conscience so how to look 
towards this perspective in the present scenario. I remember when I was SP Ahmednagar, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam sir had come to address youngsters like you and with one beautiful gift, he had brought Jaipur Foods, Jaipur food for the physically challenged students and those were made of polyurethane, the material which is used for making the missiles. That is strong, enduring and light in weight. So, this is science with humanity. When there is righteousness in the heart, there is beauty in the character. When there is beauty in the character, there is harmony at home. When there is harmony at home, there is order in the nation. And when there is order in the nation, there is peace in the world. Who has said this? Dr. Kalam, sir. So, this character building is very important since, because society is not like heap of potatoes, it is like pomegranate. It gets bounded, binded in the womb of when the kid is in the embryo of the mother. Then in the schools, in the college, in the society, samskaras develop that. So, since childhood, that upbringing, making the difference positively and constructively in the thought process, that is very important. So, in education, educational system also, only the IQ is considered important. IQ is what? Comprehension, solving maths, memorizing things. But what is about social question? What is about emotional questions which define the character which define your own persona, your punctuality, your all positive aspects of help, love and serve. There are three beautiful verbs, to love, to help and to serve. And what is about adversity question? Generation Z, what you call Gen Z, I don't know. The parent induced wastefulness, P-I-W. We always protect our kids too much, prepare them to face the adversities of life. That is adversity question. So, I think that upbringing and sanskaras, jo apne thali mein khate hai aur apna apna khate hai, usko prakruti bolte hai. Jo dusre ki thali se khich ke khate hai, usko vikruti bolte hai. और जो भूखा रह के दूसरों को खिलाते हैं उसको संस्कृति बोलते हैं आई थिंक यू ब्यूटीफुली आर्टिकुलेटेड इट विद द लास्ट लाइन दैट यू सेड दैट जो दूसरों को खिलाते वो संस्कृति कहलाते बट सो यू स्पोक आल्सो अबाउट अपब्रिंगिंग अपब्रिंगिंग is not just at home, but a large part of upbringing is also in schools, it's in colleges. We spend more time in school than we spend at home. And therefore, the environment that we are in, my late grandfather kept telling me that the five people that you surround yourself with, Rishabh, will, be, you know, you will become the sum total of those five people. So my question to you is that, how, did, how important is this upbringing in school and did it have a profound impact on you whilst you were growing up, your school and college days, in making the Vishwas Nagri Patil that we know today? Uh, as I told you, I belong to a small village, Kokuru, tucked atop the mountain of mighty, mighty Sayadri, surrounded by beautiful Rio Varna. And I had. Uh, meaningful journey of 23 years from a rural boy to IPS and then now 28 years in Indian police service with full of odds, challenges, encounters. Loha jitna tapta hai, utni taakat bharta hai. Sone ko jitni aag lage, utna prakhar nikharta hai. 
हीरे पे जितने घाव लगे उतना खूब चमकता है मिट्टी का बर्तन पकता है तो धुन पर खूब खनकता है सूरज जैसा बनना है तो सूरज जैसा जलना होगा नदियों सा आदर पाना है तो पर्वत छोड़ निकलना होगा और तू तो आदम का बेटा है क्यों सोचे रा सरल होगा कुछ वक्त जरूर लगेगा लेकिन हर संघर्ष सफल होगा हर प्रश्न का हल होगा आज नहीं तो कल होगा so my journey is uh, leaving that comfort group and searching those new horizons rural children are like wild flowers if they get good black fertile soil good dose of fertilizer some warm sunlight and good water they blossom so beautifully that no daffodils lotus roses can match them I am such a wild flower which blossomed on the bank of River Varna in 1997. Which there were so many. We were three from the same village who cracked IAS, IPS, and IFS in the same batch of 1997 when none from Mumbai city was there in the final list. And. i could get into indian police service ips through upsc and same year i cracked post of deputy collector through mpsc sales tax officer through mpsc so i could succeed in 12 consecutive exam in one year but that was not by flu that was plan that was trap Super thirty, you must have watched. Twelve fail, you must have watched. So planning is planning is what deciding in advance what to do, when to do, how to do, who is the, supposed to do it for you. So I did my primary education in Jilla Prishat School, which is like municipal school in Mumbai city. For secondary schooling, I went to Taluka place, and there the teachers groomed positive habits in me. very important role of teachers but what are have habits watch your thoughts those become your words watch your words those become your actions watch your actions those form your habits good habits lead to good character bad habits to bad character and if your destiny is dependent on your character i'm focusing more and more on character building so my teacher made me to get up at 3 am and imbibe that habit of studying in those quiet v hours from 3:30 to 6:30 there is a saying the heights of great men reached and kept were not attained by sudden flight but while their companions were slept they were toiling the course in the night so same habit my son is preparing for neat he gets up at 2 o'clock i used to get up at 3 am he gets up at 2 o'clock and study studies in those v hours and my father was backbone of my conviction he was only fourth standard educated he was a wrestler he was a farmer but he gave me the dream he encouraged to take me to take risk because after 12 i had got admission in engineering but i decided to appear for civil services and join ba which was a suicidal decision but my father supported when i was preparing in delhi in mumbai for civil services he used to write me a postcard in marathi he used to sign in modi modi script and in that later last concluding line Always is to write. The bhavda, pyaar se mujhe ghar mein bhavda bolte hain. The bhavda, meri aankhe band hone se pehle, meri saas thamne se pehle, mujhe tumhe lal diye ki gadi mein commissioner ya collector banke aate dekhna hai. But that my father's dream. I remember I came to Mumbai. 
I couldn't get admission in hostel also. I was searching accommodation in servant quarters in I in the quarters of where IS and IPS officers leave. I got accommodation in MLA hostel that point of time. There were only dreams accompanied by efforts. Mutti bhar lekar kuch sapne bhar kar jebo mein aashaye. Dil mein hai arman kai kuch kar jaye, kuch kar jaye. Suraj sa tej nahi mujh mein deepak sa jalta dekho ge. Meri had roshan karne se tum mujh ko kab tak roko ge. Tum mujh ko kab tak roko ge. Mein us maati ka vriksh nahi. मैं उस माटी का वृक्ष नहीं जिसको नदियों ने सींचा है बंजर माटी में पलकर मैंने मृत्यु से जीवन खींचा है एडवर्सिटी विपरीत परिस्थितियों में कुछ लोग टूट जाते हो कुछ लोग रिकॉर्ड तोड़ देते हैं मैं सागर से भी गहरा हूं मैं सागर से भी गहरा हूं तुम कितने कंकड़ फेंकोगे चुन चुन कर आगे बढ़ूंगा मैं तुम मुझको कब तक रोकोगे तुम मुझको कब तक रोकोगे On the weekends, I used to go to the relatives' places. So many relatives are there in suburbs like Bandu and Mulund and that area. So after traveling, also I used to get some home food. You know, the mess food was very bad, but with that food, I used to get so many tanas. कब सेटल हो जाओगे? कितना दिन घर पे बोझ बन के रहोगे? ये आईएसआईपीएस कोई बंदा है क्या? इसके लिए बहुत पैसा चाहिए, इन्फ्लुएंस चाहिए. इस जग में जितने जुल्म नहीं उतने सहने की ताकत है तानों के शोर में रहकर भी सच कहने की आदत है मैं पत्थर पर लिखी इबारत हूं तुम शीशे से कब तक तोड़ोगे मिटने वाला मैं नाम नहीं तुम मुझको कब तक रोकोगे तुम झुक झुक कर सीधा खड़ा हुआ फिर झुकने का शौक नहीं अपने ही हाथों रचा स्वयं तुमसे मिटने का खौफ नहीं तुम हालातों की भट्टी में जब जब भी मुझको फेंकोगे तब तप कर सोना बनूंगा मैं तुम मुझको कब तक रोकोगे अगेन दैट हाउ हार्ड वर्क बिलीव इन योर सेल्फ मेकिंग द ब्लू प्रिंट ऑफ योर लाइफ वेर देर इज Meaning for self worth, self respect. I'm here for some purpose. Nobody should take me granted. I will always strive for excellence. If I can't run, I will walk. If I can't walk, I will stroll. But towards that excellence, Vidvatamchan, Rupatamchan, Nevam Tulya Kadachena Swadash Swadeshi Pujjate Raja Vidwan Sarvatra Pujjate. So, Vidvatta and Raja Satta are not able to do it. The Raja's Puja is in his kingdom, but the Vidwan's Puja is in the whole world. So, always keep learning. I was only BA, History, Marathi Medium, Shivaji University, Kolapur, when I got into IPS. But then I completed my MA from Mumbai University in History. Then I did my MBA in police management. Then I did my LLB when I was SP of Latur and you know, Ahmednagar. Then I did my LLM first year and top the university when I was IG Kolapur range. So always upgrade yourself. Don't be obsolete. Don't be lazy. If we rest, we rust. Mm, it takes a second after your answers because they are. Uh, so profound and they have so much of impact because you say so much on so many issues that are there. On a lighter note, I'm sure you will be IG, when you have your law exams. I don't think your teachers would have had the guts to not give you first rank in the papers. But, sir, you spoke about how school and college are so important. You've spoken about how important it is for them to face adversity and take it head on. You also spoke about something that I firmly believe in, that a gem is not polished without rubbing, nor is a man made perfect without trials. But the issue is, sometimes for us in this generation, as Gen Z, whenever we are hit with adversity, it becomes difficult to cope with it. Today, the nature of adversity is also very different. Conversations on mental health, mental well-being, uh, are important, 
But sometimes, like I keep telling my sister, saying a small breakup is not a cause for a great mental health issue, nor is getting less marks in maths, because otherwise I would be only facing depression. <laughs> so, which is what I keep telling her. But uh, so, what I want to understand from you is, again, in Sanskrit there is sankalpa vikalpa atmakam manaha that the brain goes left and right and it's very difficult to steer because one cannot focus. One cannot face adversity because one is not used to the Brahma Murat that you were used to at 3 a.m. in the morning every day. So as a normal 15-16 year old, looking at your experience, especially where when it came to dealing with 26-11, as a Mumbaikar, I remember I was in college that time, sir. Um, you very bravely and selflessly put yourself online. Is there any adversity that you faced at that juncture? There would be many, but is there any adversity that's yet not publicly known that you can share with them that you faced? How did you overcome it? And how should they deal with adversity and gremlins when they face them in their life? That was uh, a dreaded night, gory night. Um, the memories of that night still haunt us, haunt, haunt me in Mumbai city. I lost my bodyguard. So, um, I would not be able to speak all the things in front of these young minds. But that was the attack of 10 terrorists on Mumbai city who came through sea route. This mayhem uh, lasted about 60 hours. In this process, uh, five static locations, including Hotel Taj, were attacked. In all, I think 166 people lost their lives, including 26 foreign nationals, and 304 were injured. We lost our 16, 18 war heroes. Javans and soldiers and officers and men. I was DCP of this area. I was in charge of South Mumbai. Mumbai is divided into 13 zones and uh, zone 1 is uh, South Mumbai. This Marine Drive, Malabar Hill, Kulaba, Cup Parade, JJ, Fort area, Dongri. This was area under my jurisdiction and on the night of 26-11 we were doing ASL, that is Advanced Security Licensing at Hotel Trident because the then Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh sir was supposed to attend one hour, hour function on 28th November. So we finished our uh, ASL at 9.30. I reached home at 9.40, 45. I was having my dinner. I was in uniform only because I came from the duty. And my phone bell rang. I'm just narrating to give you some learning lessons. The call was from the then additional commissioner, Dr. Venkatesham. Vishwas rush to Leopold. There is firing on. Our constable is injured. So that clicked my mind. More you sweat during peace time, less you bleed during war time. Jitna mehnat shanti ko shanti ke dinon mein karonge, utni utna उतना जितना पसीना भागे उतना खून कम लगेगा युद्ध के दिनों में आपके आपको बहाने को। So Leopold that clicked me because there was intelligence input that the place is L E O P O R T Leopold which may be DGP office or High Court which may be attacked or maybe some some sabotage may take place. So you will not believe. On 24th and 25th November, two days prior to the attack, I had cleared the whole Kulaba Causeway. Today also if you go, it is jam-packed with the hawkers. 193 hawkers I had removed from that whole area. So Pradhan Commission inquired into police action and they gave credit for no casualty on the road because in Leopold Cafe, in 30 minutes, they were, I mean, they massacred 11 people over there. 
and outside they made random firings in which none was this, none civilian was killed because the whole roads were cleared cleared and people could run away safely so leopold i got that hint and then when i was passing metro theater i got a phone call from the then dgp an roy sir and the then commissioner of police asan kapoor sir ki vishwas rush to taj there is there are sounds of gunshots of ak47 and grenade blast and that was very specific then i thought it is a terrorist attack and i should be prepared very well i had clock pistol comparatively better weapon my bodyguard was having 9 mm pistol i had 40 rounds he had 30 rounds that bullets so again taj on 29th september more you sway during peace time 29th september intelligence input was there ki taj and six other places may face some kind of sabotage not very specific so on 29th september i had visited taj and did the security audit of the whole building for 9 hours i had checked each and every corner of the hotel the peripheral security that hotel is bang on the road so there is no 26 elaborate instructions this is north court gate from where the terrorist entered this is the most vulnerable gate put an iron grill on it there should be telephone jammers vip internet con- conversations were there between handlers and the terrorists fire sprinklers smoke detectors exit fire exits everything i had seen and gave 28 26 28 elaborate instructions to the management on the 30th september i had held the meeting for 3 hours and we had made it because hospitality and security cannot go together we cannot make five star hotel into a cage or fort but i had recommended the security like bombay stock exchange because bombay stock exchange had faced uh, 93 blasts so when i reached taj i took a decision from to enter from the rear gate and on the rear gate sunil kodi the the then security chief of taj was waiting for the reinforcement and i my bodyguard 942 terrorist entered from the main gate of taj 938 two terrorist who killed 11 people in leopold same terrorist entered through north court gate they busted and broke the door open glass door and vaulted inside and on 11th minute 951 me my bodyguard sunil kudiyadi and his two guards five of us entered from the rear gate on the first floor two girls were in the pool of blood so i asked the security guards to take them to the hospital and on second floor the gunshots were from that side so cautiously we went and taking the shelter of the thick wall of taj i could see three terrorists from the distance of 10 meter and without taking a fraction of second i took battle cock position and fired three shots on them in which one of them was injured on the leg they were going towards that crystal hall and in the crystal hall more than 300 people were stuck amit waits for shastri i remember the slate the wedding was on wedding was there and that crucial firing deterred our three rounds on them deterred them and they vanished after giving a burst of ak47 but the thick wall of taj could protect us i took a pause saw they were not there so i asked sunil to take me to the sixth floor top floor because the position is also very important from the higher levels you can dominate and aim better so we went to the sixth floor sixth floor which was completely in fire at 3 am blast iid blast in dome fire you must have seen on television we check that family of mr kang also sabrina sengal nobody opened because there was confusion whether there are policemen or terrorists we checked all the floors we came down and then there were two grenade blasts then i took help of this rahul shinde who got martyred 21 year old jawan who accompanied me and samadhan more who and my bodyguard he is still with me 
he sustained three bullet injuries. Uh, with these two more men, again I went to CCTV because I had done the security audit. So we went to CCTV room, my batchmate joined and then we could locate four terrorists on sixth floor and that was a hostage situation. They had made five men as hostages and with the kicking and rifle but hitting they were trying to bring them down. So I told the situation to the then commissioner, uh, Gapur Sir Kivish. So there are four terrorists, they are into room number 631 and 632, very specific because I was knowing the CCTV and it was on the second floor. And then this battle continued. Whenever they were trying to come down, we used to fire two, three rounds. CP Sir told, keep them pinned down. The naval commandos are reaching. And I committed, everything is recorded in the control room. Will not them come down though we tie? And that fight continued up to 245. Then our floor got into flames of fire, the smoke and fire started coming into the CCTV room. So we took a call to go out and fight in but it was open battle from fourth floor. They busted with AK-47 in which my both bodyguard got three bullets, same bullet which pierced through the Stomach of my bodyguard hit Rahul Shinde who martyred over there. Next day, when I went to bring the martyred body of uh, Rahul Shinde, I still remember his body was rigor mortis, mar, mar, mortis, but his eyes were open. His finger was in the trigger guard, Sangin marching to pointing towards the upper levels. Dunia mein mil jayenge aashik kai magar patan se khub surat sanam nahi hota. Noto mein simat kar, sone mein lipat kar, mare hai kai lekin tirange se khub surat kafan nahi hota. Na izzat dey, na ajmat dey, na surat dey, na sirat dey, mere vatan ke vaaste yarab mujhe marne ki sirf himmat dey. So we fought with the help of naval commandos, then the energy came, that battle continued for 60 hours. But why? We were appreciated by Pradhan Commission for proactive steps and reactive steps. There is saying, in fact, quote from the book called Art of War, written by Sun Tzu, which was written in 522 BC. If you know yourself and if you know your, your enemy, you need not worry about the result of 100 battles. You are going to win each and every battle. If you know yourself and if you do not know your enemy, you will suffer a defeat after every victory. And if you neither know yourself and nor in a, your enemy, you will suffer defeat in every other battle. So know yourself and know your challenges. Know yourself, know your challenges and uh, I can only imagine what you must have gone through, sir going through all of that. I was just, just like everyone else, a pin drop silence, listening to uh, the story and the tale of the bravery. One of my friends lost his father. I know that uh, it was a very difficult time. But for you to have lost somebody who was so close to you, and uh, yet face adversity head on. I think uh, we revere a lot of people uh, and we look up to a lot of people for a lot of things. But I think at this moment, uh, you know, when we call it Ayman's role model series, I think we'll all be proud to say that, you know, we have a role model like him in front of us. So, my next question actually is in regards to building a Viksit Bharat. By 2047, those in front of us will be the leaders in charge. At that juncture, their impression of those in Bharti uh, should be exactly what you narrated it as. But sir, growing up, and I'll tell you this very candidly, there are two impressions of those in Bharti. One is the movie Singham, and people like you. And the other one is 
the first brush that many people have, especially like you said from South Bombay and from other parts of the country, is that when the police cop stops you, when you are uh, driving too fast or you cut a signal, and then eventually you have to give some money to the police wala, and the corruption sets in. That's the first brush, sir, for so many people that I know, because they're, seven, they're 18, 19, 20. This is their first dealing with uh, bureaucracy. This is their first dealing with real life. And that first message sets in out there saying, you can get away by doing something as little as this. My question to you, sir, how would you like people to perceive the Vardi when they have role models like you? It's great. But only these many people can see you live and only those many will see you on Instagram. Not everybody will get a chance necessarily to meet you. When their experience is the other way around, how can they determine the Vardi? How would you like them to determine the Vardi? Difficult question. I'm presently I'm working as in charge of anti-corruption bureau. One quote is written in front of the office of Commissioner of Police. The quote is of uh, August Walmore, former police commissioner of Berkeley, USA. The policeman is denounced by the public, criticized by the preacher, ridiculed in the movies, berated by the newspapers, unsupported by the prosecuting officers and judges. They are shunned by the respectables. They are exposed to countless temptations and dangers. They are condemned when they execute the law and dismissed when they do not. They are supposed to possess the qualification of doctor, soldier, lawyer, diplomat, educator with the remuneration less than that of a daily wages laborer. So, from the perspective of educator, I would like to comment on this. I Jain Dharma Guru to the police the police constables police constables to the police उनके संबंध में उन्होंने कहा था कि संत और पुलिस दोनों समाज सुधार का काम करते हैं फर्क केवल इतना होता है संत संकेत की भाषा में समझाते हैं और पुलिस वेद की भाषा में समझाते हैं जिन लोगों को संतों के संकेत समझ में नहीं आते हैं उनके लिए वेद का प्रयोग जरूरी है संतों के भगवे वस्तु और पुलिस की खाकी इसमें कोई फर्क नहीं है वर्दी विश्वास का प्रतीक है सो वर्दी विश्वास का प्रतीक है सो द लैंग्वेज itself is of rules and regulations, it's of tear gas, water cannons, bullets, guns, some people call it third degree many times. So we have to understand the background. You rightly observe that a traffic constable who stops the vehicle after violating the law and indulges in, into malpractices. So who violates the law? People get the government they deserve. I'm not justifying anything. I don't want to be. But the cop who is standing in pollution, in rains, working 24 by 7, working in an environment which is surrounding, surrounded by all negative things, goons, abuses, crimes, crimes. Take examples from, for crime against women and children, from female feticide, to child trafficking, to molestations, to sexual assaults, to rapes, to domestic violence, to dowry deaths, to harassment or torture at workplace. So many, so many types of crimes, body offenses, cyber crimes. So this is the environment where that cop is working. And what is the impact on him? Colonial era system. We are changing, we are transforming. Yes, there are 
definitely negative things, there are lapses, there are lacunas in the system, but we are changing. Now the new laws have come. The focus is not on punishment, it is on justice. Indian Penal Code of 1860 of 19th century era is now Bharatiya Nyaya Sahita BNS so penal to Nyaya the justice is the focus now Criminal Procedure Code of 1973 is now Nagrik Bharatiya Nagrik Suraksha Sahita and Indian Evidence Act of 1872 is now Bhartiya Saksh Adhiniyam 2023. We are now smart. Why I am saying this? Because your perception is made from the movies like Singham or Dabang, whatever. In Dabang also, that is Dabang cop, but with a lot of corrupt activities. So perception depends what is seen, was it what is shown. In media, mainstream media, social media, in the newspapers. And we like to read about negative news more. Therefore, yesterday only I read one observation by young IS officer. There is controversy going on, on about one IS officer. So, in last 15 days, 95% of the media is covered by about bureaucracy by that negative news and 5% also is not getting for the positive and constructive work. So there are many positive things which are happening but in colonial era we, we do face allegation of human right violations, custodial violence, insensitivity, corruption and so many things. But we are becoming smart, why I say, because there are many reforms which have already been taken place. From 1960, police is being modernized. Smart, what is the full form? Honorable Prime Minister explained this. S stands for strict and sensitive. M for modern and mobile. A for alert and attentive and accountable. R for responsive and responsible and T for trained and techno savvy. So technology is being introduced. In every police station there are CCTV cameras which keep watch on all the movements. Now traffic cops are also given with mounted cameras. We have CCTNS system, crime, criminal, network. All the police stations are connected online today. All the FIRs are registered online and there is transparency. There are so many measures which are brought to curb the corruption. But yes, there are black ships which we see in day-to-day -day life. But 2006, again, Supreme Court judgment in that very famous case, Prakash Singh versus Union of India, in which directives have, given to, give, have been given to the states. And we have got now stable tenure of two years. The appointment of officers and main are done to, through establishment boards. There is state security commission, there is police complaint authority. I think these youngsters will not understand in a better way. Many modernization measures have been taken which have made the system very transparent. Whatever you see in social media, yes. just give question mark, the in thing. Uh, true. What uh, you said is also very true. Change the lens with which you see things and the world will change for you. Uh, but it's very important to change the lens and sometimes the algorithm on Instagram. If we can somehow tweak the algorithm, which we can with our likes and comments, then automatically I think it will change a lot of perspective. But sir, uh, you spoke about something which again is deeply concerning. We work with adolescents. We work with 13 to 19 year olds in Bombay and across the country and the world. One of the growing menaces that I see and observe is, and this is across sections of society, is the rampant use of drugs. Uh, when I was in school and college, 
it was slightly lesser. Now it's commonly available and abundantly available in places across the country and the world. Um, there are, of course, many measures that have been taken, and uh, I'm, I'm fully cognizant that you are at the helm of that division. So I know that there is growing concern, and you tackle each problem. But at the same point in time, it's not just the authorities, it's also the substance in question which should not be consumed. You said a very important thing, sir. You said that um, we are a reflection of uh, celluloid. But at the same point in time, celluloid is also a reflection of us. So, as much as there are movies like Singham and Dabang, there are also other movies. Uh, I won't name them. But there are those movies that are made which necessarily promote the wrong kind of things. And we are consumers of that also. Uh, everything is freely available now on OTT and censorship is not that much. Which is why, what would you tell a young person who is sitting in front of you and who will watch this as to why substances should not be consumed? I had read one uh, survey in conducted in USA in which uh, it was written that uh, uh, a student till attaining the age of 16 or uh, till he get passed out of uh, his 12th standard, he watches, into, or he is on the social media or on internet for 20,000 hours in which he uh, sees um, murders, 15,000, rapes, 12,000, pornographic clips, approximate 1 lakh, which was shocking to me. It was conducted in USA and uh, we are in global village now. And um, I became villain of some youngsters when I raided Rayo Party in 2007 in Pune at Singhagad Foothill, in which 280 youngsters were detained. I detained them for blood and urine samples. I took strict action against the drug peddlers. There is sale and distribution, which is different, and consumption is different. I really, really assume the youngsters who consume drugs as victims of crime. And there is provision of Section 64A in, young, uh, in NDPS Act. Narcotics and nar psychotropic substances. Narcotics are different, psychotropic substances are different. So, in Mumbai also I was holding additional charge of anti-narcotic sale. And that time I rated 72 degrees. The club which is detained last week for drunk and driving must have read in the same club in which I detained 232 youngsters, took their blood and urine samples. I, when I was additional CP of West Region, I raided that Okud Bust, Okud Hotel, you must have read, 90 youngsters including some IPL cricket players, fashion designers, reporters from reputed newspapers. There are series of articles against me, who is this officer who is raiding nightlife of Mumbai city and all this stuff. I faced a lot of criticism sleepless nights, because drugs mafia is horrendous, it's, it's dangerous. Do you know the trade between, uh, turnover of the trade between Golden Crescent and Golden Triangle? Golden Crescent is Iran, Afghanistan and Pakistan. Golden Triangle is Laos, Myanmar and Thailand. The drug between these two epicenters crosses 1,000 billion dollars. It is more than the turnover of iron and steel industry of the world. So, who are the targets? You youngsters. Because I traded these rave parties. Rave is what? Radical audio visual experience. There is high repetitive beats. That music, you need to need have that magic pills. Pip, pills, stimulants, depressants, and hallucinogens. There are three types of drugs. Stimulants, you start from that amphetamine, methamphetamine, meth. If you are not able to study 
during exam days whole year you are on social media and during exam days you take start taking those pills and then then be, you become the victim of it your central nervous system is commanded by the drug and then you can commit any kind of crime i rounded up 150 chain snatchers of mumbai city out of those 95% were drug addict so central once it is there is no u turn so youngster should learn this there are rehabs which try, which try and there are definitely good results also but this is the menace this is the problem and why this music after consumption of those magic pills it literally pierces through your ears you can walk on that air that fluorescent colors you can touch those colors that high euphoria hallucination that is very temporary your life is gone your brain is sizzled these are called sizzler drugs also because i had interacted with these youngsters recently one 17 year old year girl or year old girl from a very reputed school jumped from 18th floor and i still have a suicide note in my mobile phone there were three columns start stop and i quit start was like start obeying parents start focusing on studies start less on the media social media instagram and all the stuff positive negative i don't know stop taking ipls stop taking drugs stop arguing with the parents parents are the real well wishers teachers are the real well wishers but teenage i don't know what is the problem with that adolescent age your prefrontal cortex of the brain gets developed i think and you don't know what is good and what is bad your conscience is being developed when did that teenage you must have read that porsche case in pune yes. but that is the age when chatrapati shivaji maharaj laid the foundation of swarajya cutting his finger and giving that blood to the shivling so this drug menace please do not get into trap of that there is peer pressure there are clubs discos dancing floors i stopped all the dj and dolby system of western maharashtra during ganpati festival i faced black backlash from each and every corner but high court appreciated my action it was legal action after 10 pm no sounds on the road all the processions were without dolby systems and what is dolby system there is low mid and high hmm. that is tunnel effect effect or earthquake effect the vibrations 108 20 130 decibel sounds and that vibrations then you are dancing 10 hours 12 hours after consuming something so this is temporary this is hi this is euphoria this gives some kind of kick but i do get kick after running 42 kilometers i am 51 years of age and listen to huberman famous uh, podcaster he says after consuming drugs you get dopamine kick three times and after running 42 kilometers you get dopamine kick four times so your uh, this nerves on in your feet are more sensitive so train yourself i am now 51 but i run 42 kilometers in four and a half hours i ran full marathon this year so train your tendons ligaments joints muscles this is different fun spend time in the gym yoga room that will give you kick whatever you want that endorphin dopamine oxytocin serotonin whatever positive drugs the positive hormones you will develop through that absolutely uh, there are many ways in order to release all of those hormones in your system one of them that you should not do 
बिकॉज पीपल कीप से दैट लाइफ में मतलब इन इन योर लाइफ यू मस्ट ट्राई एवरी थिंग वंस एक बार तो हर चीज ट्राई करनी चाहिए बट दिस वन थिंग दैट यू शुड नॉट ट्राई विच इज ड्रग्स the amygdala is the place where essentially pain and pleasure come from and those uh, parts of the brain are yet being developed and which is why it becomes imperative to understand what he is saying and implement it otherwise i know so many people and again without naming anyone on camera but so many friends of friends when i was in school they said try this one psychedelic it will help um, and that one has led to so many that eventually they have had to be sent to drug rehabs Of course, uh, and they've come back and things like that, but not in touch. And very good families. And uh, like you rightly said, the young girl who committed suicide. So I think, uh, in a nutshell, you've provided all the answers. I will ask you the last question. It is a small uh, because it's for school children. Uh, it's a small rapid fire, just like the talk show host who does this. We also have a small hamper. It's not as big as the hamper they give on screen, but. Uh, the first word or the first thought that comes to your mind when i say role model chatrapati shivaji maharaj your least favorite subject in school <laughs> maths no no <laughs> i like all the subjects uh, i enjoy it You, so so you are like the hermione granger of the harry potter series who <laughs> like but what's a uh, one childhood habit that you still can't let go of positive or negative whichever you like <laughs> i think i write diary journaling is my habit since childhood everybody should follow this a uh, one guilty pleasure scrolling on social media <laughs> doom scrolling you for you people youngster gen z gen z call it doom scrolling am i right uh, when i say youth what is the first thought that comes to mind greet and courage when i say india what is the thought that comes great future we are ruling the world we are going to rule the world this is the answer on the last one sir there will be one hamper or two hampers when i say i i m u n what is the first thought that comes to your mind i am i am i think building and nurturing of young minds positively how lovely how lovely thank you but people say that you need uh, you need hard working role models and not role models who've gone to harvard and that hard work is much more important that hard work is much more important than harvard today we have somebody who started from humble beginnings did the hard work literally burnt the midnight oil went to those prestigious universities got those degrees they're trying to signal saying rishab time up <laughs> <laughs> no, but I must, I must end this like this because honestly, sir, from the vast myriad of people that we've had the good fortune of meeting over these last thirteen, fourteen years since we since we started Ironman, I will tell you that there are very few who can speak about what happens in the brain, can quote the Indian Constitution, can at the same point in time give you an example from a Hindi script, from a from a Hindu scripture in a way that is applicable to all and sundry. promise the last line <laughs> is is and at the same point in time can keep an audience of gen z so patiently listening to you and listening to each and every word that you said honestly a true role model in every right vishwas nagrip thank you so much sir